Mima unexpectedly completed Young Sheldon's George Big Bang Theory retcon. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And give this video a like up after spending 7 years rehabilitating George's image, Mima ultimately completed Young Sheldon's The Big Bang Theory retcon. Years before the idea of a Sheldon origin story came about, the socially inept genius family was already established in the Chuck Lore and Bill Preeti created sitcom. While Mary debuted early on and continued to visit Pasadena throughout the Big Bang Theory's 12-season run, Georgie and Missy had more limited involvement. Mima, on the other hand, only had one cameo. This left George as the only Cooper family member who never physically appeared because he was long dead by then. While George never got the chance to meet Sheldon's friends in the Big Bang Theory, there was no shortage of stories about him in the flagship series. This helped the franchise establish an image for the character, although not a good one. According to Sheldon, and backed up by Mary, George was a no-good father who did nothing but drink and lounge around. This version of the Cooper Patriarch went unchallenged for years until its spin-off debuted in 2017. By the time young Sheldon ended, he was fully rehabilitated, with the retcon properly capped off by Mima of all people. When George died in young Sheldon season 7, episode 12, a little snip and teaching old dogs, Mima was with Missy and Mary to receive the devastating news from his co-workers. From there, she became a pillar of the family as they navigated the aftermath of the tragedy. So much so that she even took over Mary's eulogy during George's funeral after Sheldon's mom broke down in the middle of her emotional farewell speech. Annie Potts had a lot of great moments throughout all seven seasons of the show, but this was arguably her best. So for Mima to openly talk about how she genuinely felt about George was a testament to how good of a man he really was. Aside from the perfect balance of drama and comedy, Mima's tribute completed the rehabilitation of George's image. When young Sheldon started, it was clear that she really didn't like him. Considering the beginning of his and Mary's marriage, it was understandable for Connie Tucker to still harbor some grudge about him accidentally getting her daughter pregnant. The prequel played with their contentious relationship multiple times, even pitting them against each other for the brisket recipe. So for Mima to openly talk about how she genuinely felt about George was a testament to how good of a man he really was. During the first few seasons of Young Sheldon, Georgie and Mima bickered all the time. While the majority of them were seemingly done as a joke, some comments made were hurtful to each other. Further proof that their relationship really had foundational cracks was George's heartbreaking confession about being forced to move across his mother-in-law just for his wife to be happy in the Young Sheldon season 4 final. Over time, the Big Bang Theory prequel gradually mended their relationship. Oddly, even when George and Mary were in their biggest fights, Mima never pushed her daughter to leave her husband. Mima tragically losing her house and having to spend more time with the Coopers at the beginning of Young Sheldon Season 7 somehow brought her closer to her son-in-law. On the flip side, George was likely very grateful for how much Connie helped Georgie and Mandy when their unexpected pregnancy broke out. While the Big Bang Theory only highlighted Sheldon's close relationship with his maternal grandmother, Young Sheldon showed that Mary's mother loved all of her grandchildren dearly. Through the family's ups and downs, George and Mima learned to appreciate each other. All members of the Cooper family were properly utilized in the Young Sheldon final, at least during its first half, which was George's funeral. Aside from the writing of what's arguably the best episode in the Big Bang Theory franchise, all members of the cast were also incredible in their final days as their respective characters. That said, among everyone, Potts Mima was the best. While she too was devastated over the death of George, she did everything she could to stay strong for Mary and the kids. They may have never survived the ordeal without her. 
Given Pot's final Young Sheldon performance, it's a disappointment that Mima won't be back for Georgie and Mandy's first marriage. More impressively, Mima did all of this without losing her sense of humor. She helped balance the drama and comedy in the last two episodes of Young Sheldon. As great as she was delivering her punchlines, it was also gut-wrenching for her to practically beg the twins to get baptized for their mother. Given Pod's final Young Sheldon performance, it's a disappointment that Mima won't be back for Georgie and Mandy's first.